Hello. I want to start with a happy new year because we were all happy to see the end of 2020. But then there was yesterday. We witnessed something at the Capitol that we never thought we'd say. An angry mob breached the security lines at the Capitol in what was really a coup attempt. They wanted to change the outcome of a democratic election. And this behavior was encouraged and egged on by the President of the United States, and he didn't try to stop it. The right to protest is a fundamental right. I've personally exercised this right for decades. But this was not a protest. This was an attempt to subvert democracy. It was a coup attempt. We live in the Washington region, and we all feel part ownership of our nation's capital. Because we live so close to the heart of our country, Montgomery County is part of a mutual aid agreement with other jurisdictions in the national capital region, including the District of Columbia. Upon request, we sent county police officers and emergency personnel as part of the united effort to restore order in downtown Washington. I'm glad we were able to play a role in protecting the democracy of our nation, and I'm proud of the work done by our first responders. And now we look forward to new leadership at the federal level. We need federal leadership that has been missing throughout this pandemic. We need federal funds for local jurisdictions as we work to help our residents and businesses. And we need leadership on vaccine distribution. Less than two weeks ago, the county received the first significant delivery of COVID vaccines. On just a couple of days notice and during the holiday season, our staff was able to get the vaccines administered. And this week we received more. And once again, we're getting them out quickly. I'm appreciative of how efficiently our staff has been working to make sure that whatever amount we get from the state, we get them administered. The governor commended our county for being one of the most efficient counties in the state for administering the doses we had received. Because of our impressive performance, the state has increased the number of doses we have received. Again, we only received a few days notice and our staff set up the clinics to make sure all the doses were administered. I know many jurisdictions around the state and around the nation have had trouble administering the vaccine they've been allotted, but we have planned for this moment and we are ready. When vaccines come into our doors, we will get them moving into the arms of the people who need them. Because there is still a limited supply of vaccine, a priority list has been established. You can read about the priorities and much more information about how we are handling the COVID vaccines on a new online dashboard. This dashboard will be updated daily with the number of vaccines we have received and the number that have been distributed. You can also sign up for news alerts regarding the vaccine. You can find all of this information on the dashboard site at montgomerycountymd.gov slash COVID-19 slash vaccine slash. You will notice that we do not have dates for the different phases of the web on this website. This is because we do not know until a couple of days before when we will get this week's allocation of vaccines and how many we will get. As much as we'd like to know in advance, the state is not able to provide that information. So we're not able to lay out a schedule for the vaccines until the state can give us a timetable when the vaccines will be delivered and how many will be delivered at each point. As soon as we get that information, the dashboard will be updated so you will have a better sense of when the different phases will begin. I wanna close with a note of caution. The vaccine is bringing hope and possibility for the end of this pandemic, but the virus is still here. And as you can see around the country, it is having a devastating effect. We must continue to follow the guidelines. Even people who have received both doses of the vaccine will need to continue wearing masks and maintaining a distance. And it will take time before the vaccine is widely distributed. In the meantime, our case numbers are still high. You'll notice that the rate of transmission risk is four times higher than it was just in November and almost eight times higher than it was during mm -hmm. the summer. Our hospitals and our healthcare workers are stressed. We need to do our part to make sure that the virus does not spread. In two weeks, I'm hoping the change in our federal government combined with vaccine distribution will make 2021 a much better year. There is reason to be optimistic but still, please be careful. Please be safe. Thank you.